Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, 9.06. I got up a little late this morning. Yep. And um, I sent an email last night yeah. to those in law enforcement. For some reason, no one responded. <laughs> After three million of them, you thought that somebody would have responded, but um, mm -hmm. they seem to be reluctant to acknowledge my rights as a citizen. <laughs> and I oftentimes wonder why that is. <laughs> Now, it could be because they're getting sued and they're going to prison for what they've done. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the thought is, well, I'll help myself to another day of being out of prison. Yeah. Uh, but it really is frustrating because I thought I was going to reside in a five-star hotel. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was going to live with my sons. Now, uh, the GR-34 waiver of court and clerk's fees and charges uh, in civil matters on the basis of indigency. Yeah. Any individual on the basis of indigent status as defined herein uh -huh, may seek a waiver of filing fees or surcharges, uh -huh, the payment of which is a condition precedent uh, to the litigant's ability. Uh -huh. To secure access to judicial relief from a ju judicial officer on the applicable trial court. Mm -hmm. Now, the application for which a waiver may be made ex parte in writing or orally, uh, accompanied by a mandatory pattern form mm -hmm, created by the administrative office of courts, uh -huh, whereby the applicant attests to his or her financial status. Uh -huh, or in the case of an individual represented by a qualified legal service provider or an attorney working in conjunction with the QLSP, mm -hmm. Declaration of Counsel, stating that the individual was screened and found eligible by the QLSP. Now, um, it's somewhat suggestive that every poor person that's under 125% of the poverty rate, yeah. Uh, all they have to do is contact any attorney they want. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the attorney working in conjunction with, yes, mm -hmm. a declaration of counsel stating that the individual was screened and found eligible by the QLSP. <laughs> now, let's say I wanted one of these $1,000 an hour attorneys. Yes. Because I'm upset at you. Pooh. <laughs> And instead of you assigning counsel as if it were a criminal case and I had to have a public defender, yes, I start calling every attorney in the county finding out what their hourly rate is. And of course, I go with the most expensive one. Yes. Because it doesn't cost me to have an attorney as an indigent. Yes, he does. Now, for a lot of poor people out there, boom, <laughs> that thought the county was doing them a favor. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking that you thought that maybe the court didn't have enough money. Yeah. But now I'm wanting to bankrupt every court in the United States of America. You understand, Sheriff? Now, for the idiots that gave custody of my sons to my wife, yes, finding out yesterday, well, I did know about it, but really doing the research today, yes, this says the application for such a waiver may be made ex parte, as in myself. Yes, yes, yes. In writing or orally accompanied by the mandatory form created by the AOC. Yes. Whereby myself as the applicant attest to my financial status. Ah. Or in the case of an individual represented. Yes. Now, there's the individual known as the ex parte uh, applicant for the indigent services of having an attorney paid for. That's right. Mm. Then there's the QLSP for those Indians. Now, all I have to do yes. is go to somebody yes. that happens to uh, be an attorney yes. and then have them declaration of counsel stating the individual was screened ah, and found eligible. Yes. Now, I'm going to need to know all the QLSPs in every state. Yes. And then the employees of the administrative office of courts that I have emailed. Yes. About the use of forgery when issuing protection orders. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Because it seems to me. Yeah. If you thought it was expensive yesterday, it's going to be 